Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today we're going to be tackling this little viral uh, algebra problem here. And it actually is a little harder than it looks. And you might be thinking, okay, this is not bad. I can even do this in my head because the first part is pretty easy. What plus what is equal to 10? And that, that, that would be 5 plus 5 would have to equal 10. But I'm going to do it algebraically too because we have two of the circles. So I'm going to call that 2x would equal 10, which means that the circle which is x would equal 5. Okay, I don't want to do a circle because it looks like 0. So now that the circle is 5, we can substitute this in. And this is where most people are going to make a mistake. Because 5 times a square, which I will call y, plus another square would be another y would equal 12. And 5y plus y equaling 12 ends up being 6y is equal to 12, which when we divide, we get y is equal to 2, so our square is equal to 2. All right, and now we can substitute some things in again. So we have a circle times a square. Well, a circle is 5 and a square is 2. So 5 times 2 minus a triangle, so I'm going to call that minus Q for triangle, because why not call triangle Q, times another circle. Well, Q, circle is 5, so times 5 will equal another circle, so we'll equal 5. All right, so we got 5 times 2, that's 10. Minus 5Q, which is representing triangle, will equal 5. Subtract the 10 over. Negative 5Q will equal negative 10. Nope, negative 5 because subtract 5 minus 10 is negative 5. And when you divide negative 5 by negative 5, you get a triangle is equal to, interestingly enough, 1. Okay, that's a quick one for you. Until next time, everybody, stay positive. I will see y'all later. Bye.